it's me, Lowry, the Pretty Potsy. I hope everyone is doing good today. I have to say that this morning I felt horrible. Yesterday was a really big day for me. I have not shared with my pots to many people. I've sort of kept that door, that portion of my life closed off. And yesterday sharing my first couple of videos with you guys, oh, it just, it was overwhelming emotionally for me. It felt so good. I got lots of positive feedback and I got some subscribers. So I just wanna thank anyone who has watched my other videos. Thank you for keeping on and watching me and I welcome you to stay and just really be a part of my journey as I share my pots, share what helps my pots and get feedback on what helps you guys. So I just really appreciate you. Yesterday was very emotional for me and by the end of the night, I felt awful. Um, I could barely get up off the couch. In fact, my husband carried me to bed last night. And so POTS is real and POTS has ups and it has downs, but it affects everybody differently. And so I just want to be real about how I feel. You know, I, when most people see me, I look completely normal, but you just never know what someone is going through, how they feel. Um, if they're hiding it really well or not. Um, there's some days where I don't leave the house. I couldn't even imagine having a conversation with someone, being able to uh, remember what word comes next in the conversation, or just standing to talk to someone. So it really is a struggle every day for me. But I wanna share what made me feel better today. So I woke up and I got the kids off to school and sometimes I go to a workout class on Wednesdays, but today I just wasn't feeling it and I didn't want to overdo it. So I didn't go to the workout class and I had my fatty coffee and I sat back on the couch and I put my feet up and really wasn't planning on doing much of anything. And I actually made a decision to get some fresh air and a big part of POTS is the emotionality of it. Um, I'm going to use the word depression. Uh, it's very depressing to have your life change. It's very depressing to have to say no to people. It's very depressing just to not live the life that we are accustomed to living. And I struggle with it myself. There are days when I just I feel so sad and I think, woe is me and why me? Um, but I always try to stay positive and just sort of ride those waves and, you know, look to the good things in my life, my family, my husband, my kids, and, you know, be thankful for what I do have and the good things. And so I decided today to get, go outside and get some fresh air and ride my bike. Um, Bike riding is really good for pots because you don't have to stand and you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You get fresh air, you get vitamin D from the sun and I just feel so energized and refreshed after being outside in the fresh air. I live in Arizona where it's really hot so I'm so thankful for this time of year. It was 65 today for my bike ride and cool weather is so good for us potsies. It helps constrict our blood vessels and keep more blood in our brain while we're outside. And I just feel so good after my bike ride. Uh, working out is just so important for people with POTS. Um, there actually is a study shown that people with POTS have a lower peak oxygen uptake during exercise. Part of this is from deconditioning, but the other component of it is because of our autonomic dysfunction and your breathing and your breath rate is some, one of your natural body's tasks that it does on its own. You don't have to think about breathing, it just happens. But when you have POTS and when you have dysautonomia, your breath doesn't work properly. So when we work out, it's even harder than when normal people work out. Not that us potsies aren't normal, but people without pots versus people with pots have a harder time exercising. 
I think the number one benefit of exercise, um, secondary to feeling better and make, giving us energy, is the fact that we are building muscles. And the more muscle that we have in our legs, the more support our veins have and the less blood that will pool in our legs and our feet while we're standing. And so when you're riding a bike, you're using your legs and you're building those muscles, you're pushing the blood back up. And so even after a bike ride, you've done exercise, but you've pushed more blood up into your brain and it gives you that wonderful feeling, almost a normal feeling, um, compared to if you had been doing a standing workout or more of an intense workout. So biking is really good for POTS. If you are very deconditioned, um, a lot of people maybe were diagnosed with POTS later on and they'd had it for a long time and they got worse and worse. Um, some people with POTS, it's hard to get out of bed. Um, some people faint upon standing. So you can start really simply. You can even start on your back and in your bed, you can pedal. You don't even have to be pedaling anything, but what you're doing is you're pushing that blood and you're using your muscles and you can gradually work up. You can get a bike in your home. Um, there's a lot of different companies that make bikes. You can find them on Amazon as low as $200. And that's a great place to start. You can just you know, go right from your bed onto the bike and have it in your room and start off at just a few minutes. Um, but the more that you're using your muscles and your legs, the better you're going to feel. And the more support you're gonna have for your vessels and your veins and your legs. A lot of people who have POTS have extreme fatigue. And so it can be really hard to start off with an exercise routine. I say just to be realistic with your goals and your expectations. Um, you know, you don't have to follow your doctor's guidelines exactly in the beginning. You can work up to that. Just start really small and congratulate yourself for every small workout that you do. Give yourself a little treat after each workout and just make sure that you're congratulating yourself for getting up. That's what I did today. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I got up and I got out and I got moving and you can probably tell, but I feel so good. I feel so good today. So I really wanted to share that. Um, some of the benefits of exercise, people with POTS have trouble sleeping. And the more that we're getting exercise, the more that we're using our bodies during the day, the better that we're going to sleep at night. And then we just start the next day even better after a good night's sleep. I mentioned that it helps with your circulation. Um, another thing that us potsies have to do is drink a lot and sometimes it can just seem overwhelming. I drink a hundred ounces of water a day. So I always keep um, a water bottle on me. Um, right now this is a Nun tablet electrolyte. But when you work out you tend to drink more and you get thirstier so it makes it easier to reach your liquid goals for the day um and it's just it's it, it feels good um and everybody who has pots has a different level of where they're starting at and just believe in yourself and get out there whatever it is um if you can't take a walk um just sit outside, um, get the fresh air, and it just feels good. It just feels really good. Uh, a lot of people with POTS, they kind of feel socially isolated, and I know I do, um, but just doing something little for yourself, even if it's by yourself, it just feels really good. So I wanted to share um, my joyous workout today and it was just a 20 minute bike ride, but it felt so good. And I'm going into my day today knowing that I have helped uh, myself feel better and helped myself mentally. And it's just very, very important when you have POTS just to keep moving. Do what you can and feel good about it. And that's all. So I appreciate you watching today.
Again, it means so much to me to have you guys listening. And I'd love to hear from you how you started your exercise regime, what works for you. And I'm open to anything new, um, any new ideas. If you um, want to hear me make a video about something in particular, um, just let me know. I'm here for you. So I'm Lowry the Pretty Potsy, and thanks for watching. Bye.